Let's take on this airhead. Oh, hello. Lovely day for a stroll on the beach, isn't it? Now when the beast is in a state like this, I find this version to be quite aesthetically pleasing, actually. You know, if you just hear a sightsee, you could just go do that. Not fight us. And leave behind any treasure you might have. Ah, but I do have to fight you. It's the very reason for my existence. I'm sure you understand. But please, do not mistake my tone for lack of investment. I will take great pleasure in your humiliating defeat. Bring it on, airhead. Big a big a bee. Alright, so we need to. We need to do our buffs. Um, just a normal attack. Um. Did I mean to have glitch on Claire? Yeah, I don't have electricity. Uh, buff her. And let's give scrap armor to the whole party. Think, think. Ow. I wonder if scrap armor is per damage. So, like, if it will defray uh, the dot effect. Ow. Fucking double cast. Blood and ashes. Alright, so we keep attacking. Um, I think we should go for Scorch. And we want to. Let's hit Face Shield with everyone. Hell yeah. I think this is gonna be a pretty knockdown drag out fight. Alright, well at least we got rid of the fire. Now we get to the elemental shifting. Electric up. Alright, good. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's why I gave Claire Jolt, so we can hit all the elements. Good shit, good shit. Love to see it, love to see it. Um, let's go a Resilient Aura, so we don't have to worry about some status effects. Allison is almost up to the last beat, so we'll hit that. We will go for the Jolt, and then cannot crack the armor. Um, I want to guarantee that she gets one more star power, so let's get faith. All right, all right. No damage. Get wrecked a Roni Pepperoni. Ooh, we got two stacks of burning. All right, so this is already going a lot better compared to the last time um, we were dealing with him. Let's go ahead and get rid of that burn while we have a turn. We will go for some big hitterinos. So, attack boost, and crack the armor. And I th think with Melody's um, ability to get star power, we will be able to get off two of Allison's big hits, while um, defense down is in effect. We just need to use one round to get rid of the Leaf Shield. So let's heal everyone. Allison, go for the Sun, Claire. Let's do... Let's do Avalanche. I want to make sure that Sun dies. And then Jody will punch the Leaf Shield, worst case scenario. Hey, Leonie, welcome on by. I hope you're having a good night. Oh shit, that's a lot of fire. Oh, that's just mean. Uh, 
Okay, I think I need to go around reapplying buffs. But I think I could squeeze in one more round while defense down is affecting him. Oh, I need to have... Shoot. Okay, hold on. I done goofed. I done mucked up. Alright, so let's heal. Let's go for finishing off the sun. And we will scorch Big B. Um, what's... I feel like there's no reason to taunt, because he's doing AoE attacks. So I think the right move is to refresh our scrap armor with Jody. It is a fine evening of Slarpg. Um... They're sort of bonus bosses, this as far as I can tell. There's like four, um... Four of them. I beat two of them in my la last week, but this person, um, I tried three times. The thing is, is he does a lot of multi-target spells, and he summons adds that also do double attack spells, and I just, I just could not, um, like, I could either deal damage and get hit for big damage, and then I would lose players, or if I tried to keep my people alive, I would eventually run out of resources and have to spend some time getting, like, MP and stuff back up, and in that time he would, uh, he would smack me down. But we've got a lot more levels. I think we have, like, a six or seven more levels compared to last time. And, even better, um, we have a an improved weapon for Allison had a huge amount of attack. Um, and more importantly, we have a, a team-wide shield from Jody that we got. Um, so we have we just have so many more tools in our toolkit, especially team-wide um, skills, that makes this much, much more manageable. Actually, Allison's getting a lot of fire debuffs. Let's go ahead and knock those off real quick. Um, and let's keep building up star power, because I think if I can Allison to five, I'll do another round of, like, everyone boost Allison, drop the enemy defense, and we go to town. So let's buff players' abilities, so she'll be casting a few times. Um... Faith Shield is gone, so let's go ahead and renew that, because we want to keep the damage he's dealing to a minimum. I would say, like, overall, the game is very good about... <clears throat> Shit, freeze. It's very good about the damage, like, the difficulty curve, because, like, it gives you areas you can go sort of, um grind against enemies you like every couple steps you'll have an enemy encounter but i have not availed myself of those i've just been just brute forcing just straight through the storyline um not going out of my way to pick fights to get experience and it's been it's been pretty good um Frost. So if I avalanche now, next turn I do another frost. I should, okay. Okay, we're still on track. So hopefully he hits Jody, because I need her at two star power. There we go. Oh, damn it. Ice removes his burn. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a thundercloud. Cool. Uh, how much health does he have? Oh, I'm tempted to go for the YOLO burst and just focus him down, but I feel that's... I feel like that's a sucker's... sucker's bet. So let's go with topping everyone off. We'll have Allison... We'll have Allison go blast beat on the thundercloud. 
we will... No. We'll have Allison attack the Thundercloud. We will scorch the Thundercloud. And we'll have Jody... Is it Jody attack the Cloud? I need to have Melody refresh her kiss on Allison anyway, so Allison is at maximum buffs and we're ready to burn them down. Oh, Miss Mill, thanks for the kiss subscription. Judgment L? Nice. That's a nice little hit. Doesn't seem like. No, 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 it definitely should have worked this time. Hold on. Why did it not fire? I don't know why it... Ah! It makes no sense. Last time it was because I didn't have the avatar set, and by switching between the PNG and the avatar, it should have set that variable. There we go. Well, at least you get a free gnome power out of it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's going on. You know what? I think I... Ah, that's right. I think I closed and reopened StreamerBot because I was um, doing some testing with one of the other redeems. Slag me, and that would have cleared the variable because I have it set to not persist. All right. Back to this. Um, this is our big hit, so... Boost, boost, boost. Crack the armor. No problem, Miss Snell. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. Oh, now that's a number we like to see! Okay, um, let's have Allison heal everyone because that was a good bit of damage. Or have Melody heal everyone. Allison can punch the cloud. Claire can zap the cloud, make sure it dies. And we will. Let's put on the scrap armor. Let's not take any risks. Now, I'll have Melody go for Spread the Love, Allison go for a Blast Beat, Claire can do a Jolt, Jody, let's crack the armor again. I think we might drop it this round. Get fucked, yes! Mission accomplished. Hell yeah. Yeah, fucked, Bigby. It would appear I have been defeated. Unexpected. Oh, Varena is really going to have fun with you. I look forward to it. As do we. I'll be on my merry way then. Lunar vestments. Defense. Oh, that's a lot of magic up. Oh, that's going, that's going straight to Claire. And what is Melody's? Yeah, fucking jams. Um, we act, oh, that does remind me. We do have, um, one other emote that was in jail, has come out of jail, that the wonderful Pudley did. 
um, because I've been, you know, we've been using, we've been using uh, Wormin on by as like the raid out message for a while now. And I thought, you know what? I should have a little worm emote. And I basically was like, hey, can I have like Drekki like doing, doing like a little inchworm kind of thing? <laughs> and it's adorable. I love it. Pudley does great art. There's so many great artists! I always feel so bad because like so, so many of them do like more like Quaity Goyles. Which, fair enough. But it's like, I want. I want, I want your art. Do you, you, can, would, would you be okay doing, doing a silly little snake, maybe? At least the ones that don't have like no animals. You know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother someone if they're like, hey, I don't have an interest in doing this. But if like there's not an explicit no, I'll be like, hey, I'm, I'm not sure if you're interested or if you care to, but like, yeah, I'll. I'll I'll throw my hat in the ring in case it's okay, you know. Don't want to self-select away. I'll uh, I'll give you the opportunity to tell me no. Cuz you know, sometimes sometimes you just got to ask. Be respectful, be nice, and sometimes things work out. All right, now we need to go into the Sky Island and take care of the last lad. I think we can get to it through this way? All those Rekis inching across. Taking over the screen. Yar. Well, speaking of working on the redeems, well, I got one of the ones that I've been meaning to get for a long time. I keep going back and forth on the ideas for a, a Sandavistan slide across because it's like I could do it by just like moving my avatar window, but it also presumes I'm over here on the right. So like if I have myself anywhere else, um, like I would go off screen. So, I was actually digging into, um, I've been looking at some stuff, because I know, like, the Stream Deck has an integration with V2 Studio, where you can, like, set your avatar's position. Um, but poking around, I'm not, I haven't found any applications or plugins or whatnots that are specifically around, like, programmatically moving avatars around. Um, for the possible speech bubble. So I, I think I accidentally closed the tab because I meant to look into it. I think I saw something about in OBS being able to like stick something to an avatar and it follow. I think there was a person who did a whole stream. I think they called themselves like a two two D five um, VTuber. And they were doing. They were showing off a lot of weird stuff. Um, but like I was digging into the guts of the VTube Studio like documentation stuff, and so like there's ways to say, hey, move the avatar to this position across um, from zero to two seconds, uh, and like if you put successive like, hey, move, hey, move, hey, move, they will overwrite them. Um, the problem is I, I would need. I would need like a plugin or application that could send those commands straight to VTube Studio to move the model. And if I could do that, then I have like a very easy mental image of like how, you know, you know have the model move, X distance, you know, take a snapshot with, you know, the, the freeze frame OBS filter, have it move a distance, take another snapshot, etc., etc. Just loop it through all that stuff. So I've been looking into maybe uh, figuring out how to do APIs and <laughs> I'm not a programmer, so I know fucking nothing, but it's like there's literally nothing available that does what I want it to do. And the only way to do it is if I did it myself. <laughs> uh... 
Howdy. What brings y'all around these parts? Apparently the police. Yep, yep. Oh, let's just... What do you think, dude? Oh yeah, the scrambling. These main scramblers are already cooked up. We're really doing the trick. We're mainly trying to get your attention, but I reckon the locals should also get used to the change in scenery. Their old dad and Barina are going to be making some renovations soon, after all. <laughs> Not on our watch. Okay, can we stop for a second? We're some kind of extra mental, extra dimensional entity, right? Why are you a cowboy? What the hell is up with all the cowboys lately? Now ain't that just one of life's great mysteries? Well, enough chit chat. Let's get the business. Theory Skeleton's fancy new library should work for that. Use a C sharp like Spinner Bot. Right now. Yeah, yeah, like I saw there was like three libraries. I think there's a Python one, a JavaScript one, and then a Unity slash C sharp one. Now just hold on a sec, I got I got y'all a little something. Think of it as a gift from old buddy Clinston. There you go. Enjoy. You got 15 turns until that there poison knocks you out cold. Only cures to beat me. Have fun. <laughs> oh, so this is this one's a damage race. All right. I'm pretty sure I beat Bigsby in under 15 turns, so this shouldn't be too bad. Or at least close to 15. Um, do the first round of buffs. Uh, I want her to taunt. Um, but like, I think the interesting thing that came, that made, if I'm reading things right, is like the, the move, like, requests can have a position and an angle. Which tells me you could do some funny little shenanigans, like have someone do a loop-to-loop -loop midway through going right to left, left to right. Like, beyond just my my simple, stupid, like, shifting from right to left and left to right, if I had something that let me input ways to move around, I think there could be just some some fun little, little things. Obviously, I'm much, be much, much better at, like, throwing ideas against a board than actually implementing them, but I don't know. We, we will see if I can get off my ass and dig into that, because I do not know much of any of that, but we will see. Um... All right, let's get rid of that poison on Claire. Everyone else, I can hashtag deal with it, but Claire has too little HP. Um, what is bolt deal damage to him? Um. Also give it, nah, let's just keep attacking. Cert might be a good resource for this if you can get in touch with them. They made the DVD thing in V Bridger. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the DVD thing is basically that. Just a continuous, like, move, 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 move. Because, like, I'm imagining an app where you could say either have, like, a pre programmed or, like, draw out a way you want it to move and then it could create nodes across that like that would be like a super highly engineered mature um application or, or plug-in kind of thing rather than something i manually code every little thing um obviously the bare minimum i'm just trying to do is just fucking right to left left to right which is very simple anything more complex is just Icing on the cake. Hmm. 
for the last beat. Go with attack boost and crack the armor. Mmm, that's damage. Damage we love to see. However, Claire is using her die move. Damn it, Claire. Stop using your die move. Um, go for the attack. We'll go for Claire to use Inferno. And Jody. I want you to actually just chuck a potion at her. Chuck a potion at Claire's face. Did he just fucking put all my characters to sleep? You... I... You know what? I realized what I should have done. I should have done... I should have kept uh, Resilient Aura up. That's on me. Hmm. Poison, Blindness, Confusion, and Stone. Well, I guess let's throw an antidote on Claire. But it seems like I'm kind of... They gotta take damage to wake up. Alright, there we go. And she got repoisoned, didn't she? Fuck. Alright, we need to we need to heal everyone real quick. Yeah, my thing is just like I can I can understand like sending sending stuff like because I you know I'm used to scripting and PowerShell and stuff but it's just sort of like that next level up where you have an actual application sending things I don't know it's it my brain my brain is overheating and melting trying to figure it out it's, it's that gap between I know what I need to send but I don't know the the tool, like, how to have a tool do what I need it to do kind of thing. Which is very a very frustrating position to be in, but, like, IT is such huge deep waters, it's pretty crazy. It is impossible to know everything in IT. I might also ping my friend who is much, much better than me at uh, C Sharp and see if he can give me some resources just for general coding stuff. Let's hit everyone with a resilient aura. And Judy can bury her Claire because Claire will probably die otherwise. Fucking draining my MP! Alright. Heal everyone. Allison keeps attacking. Claire. Go for an avalanche. No. Attack. We want Inferno, because if he gets burned, that's a good thing. I uh, will kiss Faith and make sure we have two star power. So next turn we can crack the armor and have Allison do uh, her big attack. Five to go. Eh, we got this. Now the question is... I would like to have kissed Allison, but Claire will die if I don't do anything. So we are gonna have to go... with the AoE heal. Allison, go for the blast beat. Um, we scorch. And we... Crack the armor. There we go. 
I think we got this. I think we got this. Even if Claire drops, which she might. No! Oh, no one, no one got slept. All right, I'll take that. Okay, so I need to spread the love so Allison can get another blast beat. Um, Allison, I'm gonna have her mega potion. Claire. No. We'll attack. We'll have Claire attack boost. Jody can do the potion because she doesn't need to do any buffs this turn. Three. Oh, don't you worry about me, mate. Don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. I'm about that. Bet, bet you should. Bet you. Bet you. Be, bet you do a little bit of worry about yourself. You're about to get your ass beat with this blast beat. This rabbit going to be dropping some beats on you. And why? Make sure. Let's uh, crack the armor. Why not? Just to make sure. Fully buffed Allison, beat him up! Build him up and knock him down! Yeah! Hell yeah. Lamb, just had to go and ruin my fun, huh? Hope you feel proud of yourselves. We do! Well, just you wait. We're gonna be the ones that have last laugh. Lucky Horseshoe, hell yeah. Strench? Hydrate? Alright. Alright. <sighs> Good. Alright, what's that lucky horseshoe gonna do? Prevent status ailments. Poison, burn, freeze, stone, sleep, and chains. Um, that you know what? Let's put that on Melody. She is our healer, so her getting slept is usually one of the worst things that can happen. Now we just need to find that side quest in Sanctuary? Hmm. Sanctuary. Needed to beat the weather-based boss you beat before the poison one, because Melody kept getting frozen. Oof. Yeah, that that resilient aura certainly pays dividends. I also got really lucky on the weather it shifted between, because I think it only went to the ice one once. It was mostly swapping back and forth between the fire and the uh, lightning one. Mumford. No, not Mumford. Not the Sapphire Coast. Green Ridge.
Oh, I can just go back down here. Wait, wasn't there... Wasn't there a thing I needed to I feel like there was a thing I needed Jody to hop across in here. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm just a little bit crazy now. A little bit of cuckoo in the night. Ah! Aha! I wasn't wrong! I remembered right! We got a critter. Hey, now we have three critters. Why do we have three Benoys? Who do we give the Benoys to? Ah! Ah! I would have assumed the librarian. Um, yeah, because I have, I have like three of them now, and I feel like I've talked to like every NPC, so I'm kind of, kind of, kind of lost on what to do with the noise. in the Uncanny Valley. Uncanny Valley. Oh! Okay. Because I haven't got. Yeah, I've basically not gone in the valley. Like, I, I dipped my toes in there and then realized there's all that other stuff to do. Thank you. Hmm... Does Faith have anything else to say? Nope, nothing. Um... What about... Wait, I still have one key? Interdasting. I don't think it's the right way. I don't feel like. Oh, I feel like looking through this. I guess let's press on. Hmm. in my neck. Ugh. Any one of those little, like... They look like little wooden water spider kind of things for, like, massaging shoulders and, and back kind of things. I mean, I need to find me one of those. All right. Progress into the new area. This will probably come in handy. Hmm, how do we get to that island, though? I see a treasure chest. I must acquire a treasure chest. Give me treasure chest. Freaky flower. Oh, oh no. Nope. Nope. I have played plenty of fibbage. I do not need to deal with fucky eye flowers. Thank you very much.
I should have rested to restore my MP for everyone, though, now that I look at it. Um... I need to restore my MP first. So let's do a little bit of farming as a bit. Alright, so we Paladin's Gift ourselves. Guard, guard, guard. Then we will kiss Allison, we will burn it, and we will guard. Then we will Paladin's Gift Claire, and then we will finish it off. That should leave us in a good spot, mana-wise. Alright, rude. Holy shit. Oh, that was Allison. So like there, I thought that was uh, Melody's attack. I was like, damn, Melody. You got a mean right hook. Oh, uh, we got the Jojo armor and the spooky, spooky little cloud lass. I see. Um, let's try and kill the Spectre first. That's uh, hot. Yeah, miss! Counterattack! Holy shit. We are fucking them up. God damn! Uh, I guess we just use a little bit of first aid. Why not? Finish that off. Um. Actually, hold on. Why, hold on. Why does Allison have three star power? She. Let's go for the cerulean armor. Let's go for a big hit. Jody can maybe finish off the specter. That armor got smoosh! I feel like my characters are a little bit, uh... Overleveled even for this area now. I guess killing those four bosses and getting like... Eight, ten levels? Uh, helped a lot. <laughs> Ooh, a wizard hat. No, 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 it's a wizard hat. It's gotta go to... It's gotta go to her. Wait, what? What? Why can't I give Claire the wizard hat? What kind of bullshit is this? Fine! I'll give Melody the hat! And then she'll be cool! Yeah, you just put a hat on a hat. Hatception. Hasn't she played Team Fortress 2? <laughs> Damn. Ah, all right. So the key. Where does this take us? Wow, this place is really something. I have no idea there was a settlement like this in the valley. Ah, uh, so we meet again. Oh, hey, what are the odds we run into you here? Very, very high, considering this is my sanctuary. I say you found your straightened friend with the muscles. I guess my reputation precedes me. Hey, how come there are so many people here? We need a key just to get in. 
Do all these people seriously have keys? This place was supposed to be a secret haven for the creatures of the forest that can't defend themselves against the supernatural entities out there. Of course, before long, adventurers came knocking on my door looking for a place to rest and trade wares. And I suppose I don't know how to say no. I tell everyone not to make copies of their keys for their friends, but, well, they do it anyway. There aren't usually this many people here at once, though. Everyone just needs a place to hunker down with the increased monster activity. Strange things have been happening here in the valley, even stranger than usual. Which is exactly the problem we're trying to solve. Well, now that you're here, you're free to stay. But if you're able to lend a hand, I've got a bit of a problem I need help with. Excuse me. I will, of course, reward you for your efforts. Come talk to me when you've got a minute. Oh, oh, this is the sanctuary. Well, now I just feel dumb. Hey, yo. Hi. What do you need, travelers? Um, money bags. I'm going to get it just for completionist's sake, but I don't usually like using things that spend money. <laughs> just very eager to fight the optional bosses. Optional. I'm afraid this is now mandatory. My, my, my. That's quite an interesting spellbook you got there. What if I take a look? We would mind very much. Yes. Smart move. That's one spellbook that I'm sure many people would like to get their hands on. Do you recognize it? I don't. Which is what intrigues me about it. Power like that, like the kind this little tone irradiates, doesn't grow on trees, you know? There are only so many things, beings on Reverie who could have made this. But read into that claim what you will. What do you need, Travel? Alright. Useless! What can I do for you? Aw, her name is Mint. I love her. Alright, so Jody is good on damage. Um, what about this mithril armor though? Okay, so for Allison, we got one. Um, I think Jody could use the plate armor. And maybe... No, let's get two helmets. What can I do for you? Oh, you want to chat? What about? Eh, no. Do you want to wear silver plate armor? Or gold plate armor? Uh, I'd rather I'd rather use Mithril. Thanks. Oh, that's right. I can equip her with a spellbook. Let's give her spellbook. Oh, ah, that will reduce her attack. I did not think about that. I'll give her the plate helm. Um. Who am I missing? Ah. Slag me. I should have bought shouldn't have bought that other helm. But I think another plate armor? Yeah. I needed two plate armors. So let's give her the plate armor. Let's recoup our money by selling our stuff. Um, not the fighter's headband. Uh, shield team is outclassed. Absolutely. So is the silver armor. And... We only need one metal plate helm, so I'll just hashtag deal with it. 
Alright, so some damage to our pocketbook, but not too bad considering our upgrades. Oh hey, this is the other merchant guy I was thinking of. Need a hand with some provisions? Ooh, treasure maps. Raphael, can you tell us more about these treasure maps? You're only asking now, after your purchase. To tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure what treasures these maps lead to. There could be gold or perhaps an item of particular value. I sourced them from a friend I would trust with my life, though. So rest assured, they're quite genuine. Need some provision? <laughs> hey, little turtle. What you doing? Turtling around? Oh, that is such a cute centaur. Greetings, fellow travelers. I'm Yasmin. Pleased to meet you. I'm a researcher for the Archaeology Department at the Brightport University. This valley is a gold mine for someone in my field. Noel says that anything of value in this sanctuary was plundered long before they made this place their home. But that's not true. I mean, look at all the stonework here. It's so intricate. The style seems to date these ruins back to around the start of the Arcane Era. Ah, the stories these bricks could tell. Judging from the state of this place, it's not a very happy story. Very astute. In fact, I have reason to believe that some sort of catastrophe struck this place centuries ago. How intriguing! Well, it was nice to meet you, Yasmin. We'll quit interrupting your research now. Okie dokie! Let me know if you need my expertise! Turtle. Ooh, 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 who's this person? Hello! I'm Fauna! Hi. Always nice to meet a fellow spellcaster. Please, I am no mere spellcaster. I am a magician. I am able to peer in the depth in, of the. I am able to peer into peer deep into one's very soul. If one gazes long enough, my amazing mirror is able to reflect one's true self. Remind me to be careful around that mirror. Wow, I bet you've been on some interesting adventures that skill set like that, Fauna. I mostly do children's birthday parties. However, if you have any use for my skills that does not involve entertaining children aged 6 to 11, the work would be much appreciated. Actually, that might come in handy. Let's talk to her more when we have a moment. Oh, ooh, we got the we got the rapper squad. Hey, look who it is! What are our favorite bards doing out here? They're going to hang out in the tavern, but they serve alcohol in there. We vowed never to break edge. I knew they wouldn't just hand you a drink unprompted without seeing your ideas, right? Regardless, I mean, more like, what are you doing in the valley? Testing on metal as bards, of course. But uh, you've seen how it is out there right now. It's the chaos. We're lucky we made it here. Those frog balls are bloodthirsty. So we decided that our metal has been sufficiently tested. Now we're just chilling here in the sanctuary. We haven't forgotten our other vow. The one to repay you for saving us from that block of ice. We're still brainstorming that one. We'll get back to you. What about, I don't know, using your bardy skills to write us a commercial jingle for our guild? No one watches TV anymore, Grandma. Well... It was nice catching up with you. Damn, calling her a grandma? That's rude. Oh, this this gobbo just is vibing. This one is not happy. And then we have a little ratto. We have this suave kitty cat up here at the bar. Lots of interesting people around here lately. That woman who stands in the center of the sanctuary and keeps shouting and posing dramatically is especially interesting. It's usually not quite so loud around here, if you were wondering. Nobody here yet? If you need a room though, it's a hundred G. What, you, what, you thinking of watching those total strangers and expecting to dish out all the hot gossip? 
Is that what you think tavern keepers do? Uh, yes. Well, good, because I'm just pulling your legs. I do love uh, some good gossip. You seen that weird magician who hangs around the lake? Fauna, I think it was. What a character. I'm sure she'd have some interesting leads for you. If you want something less crazy, maybe try talking to Mint the Blacksmith. She's a good egg, that one. She made swords and shields on the walls here. Oh, and that hot wolf guy over by the vendor stall? Trying to sell some treasure maps. I don't trust some mysterious merchants who roll into town and start trying to pawn off treasure maps, but hey, maybe you do. Um, Let's go ahead and rest. Just to make sure we're all topped off. And so I don't have to juggle any fucking star power shit. Can I go back here? Oh, that's the kitchen. Is this... Are they making a movie? We're just supposed to do a puff piece on this tablet here, but now we're stuck in the middle of this wood doing some kind of crosses. It may matter as well as now Mr. Man thinks monster getting stuff is the story of the century. It's gonna win him some award. Even if it was, there's no reception. We can't go live. Better get overtime for this. Hey, Grandma's Regret. Welcome on by. Please, no request for autographs, folks. Oh, uh, sorry, but I don't think we actually know who you are. You're willing to be kid. The name's Hugh Man, intrepid human reporter for the Kingdom News. I'm here investigating the strange events that had this little island in a tizzy. A sudden increase in monster attacks, electromagnetic disturbances. What the scoop? I'm calling it Monster Geddon. You wouldn't happen to have any idea what the hell is going on, would you? Haha, uh -huh. nope. Sorry. Damn. This place is all dead ends, just like my love life. Guess it really is up to me to crack this case. Thought you were just a journalist, not a detective. I like to blur that line. Well, if you got any leads, be sure to fill me in. I can get you on TV, you know? How goes the game? You haven't seen anything else but your favorite character? Just the pun name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a fantastic little RPG. Uh, you can see the color palette is beautiful and amazing, and also infecting me um, and causing all sorts of strange changes um, to my model. Um, yeah, there are, like... I would not be able to tell you this is a uh, RPG Maker game. Um... If I did not see our, like the little RPG Maker logo in the top of the window, like the, everything is so polished. The humor is fantastic. The cast of characters is very strong. Um, it has very good representation. Um, the relationships between various characters is well developed and thought out. Um, I'm really happy I was made aware that this game exists by the wonderful, uh, Dolly Dollar Beauty Slice. I've been, cause like, I've been itching for an RPG game like this for a while, but the only one that was on my radar was Omori, and that one's just a little too, like, the topics on that one's a little bit too serious for me to be comfortable, um, playing at the moment. Yeah, yeah, this is RPG Maker. This is fucking insane. Because I'm certainly used to RPG Maker games. There's a lot of... Yeah, you kind of can spot the, the free and reused assets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it is what it is. They're, you know... People people sort of make it on their own. No knocking it to them. Like, you know, sometimes people have a great idea for a story. And they just need stuff to have a visual representation from it. There's nothing wrong with that. Get on my pitch, you little freak. Also, I love how on large characters like this, if you try and talk to them from the side, it acts as if you're trying to talk like into their armpit. You gotta actually come to their face. <laughs> no, I guess he doesn't have anything to say. Alright, no one has just four chests sitting there for no reason. So let me save and then try and open them. And my favorite thing I will always tell everyone, 
it tracks the kisses between you and your girlfriend, which is just the fucking cutest thing ever. Wait, is this tent? Ah, this tent's not painted. All right, what do we got here? I know. So what is this problem you need our help with? Yes, well, normally I would loathe to turn to complete strangers for help in a task like this, but circumstances are dire. You see, this is an animal sanctuary, and, well, you notice something mil missing? The buildings? No. Well, yes, but this place was already in ruins when I found it. I meant the animals. My little animal friends have all gone missing. The ruckus with the monsters made them panic, and they ran off. They can't have gone far, right? It shouldn't take us too long to search the valley for them. That's the problem, though. They could be anywhere on the Sapphire Islands by now. They're probably hiding in obscure, hard-to-reach places where they think they'll be safe. Maybe even in chests. Plus, there are eight, eight of them! Oh, fuck me. I only have three. That was a lot to ask, but while you're out of venturing, do you think you could look for my animal companions? Say no more. We hope you find your animals, Noel. Thank you for your help. In exchange for your efforts, I prepared some rewards in these chests here. I'll give you one unique piece of gear for every two animals you find. I see. I didn't think there was going to be dialogue. Um, let me say...